this problem, we're going to follow through step zero, factor using the magic X. And we have a negative 42 on the bottom and a one uh, is the A value on the bottom. So we have negative 42 as my A times C on the top of the X and a positive one on the bottom, which should give me the magic numbers of seven and negative six. That will allow the denominator to factor so that I can do step one of finding my points of discontinuity, which are gonna be X plus seven times X minus six. So I can identify my points of discontinuity by saying that I can't have X be negative seven and X can't be six. And that happens by setting the denominator equal to zero and then each one of these identifies what value would cause that to be zero. So my points of discontinuity are X can't be negative seven or six. Now the whole domain is all real numbers, comma, X can be not negative six or negative seven and six. Now our job is to factor the numerator if possible. Check that off. That one's already done because X plus seven is factored. I'm going to rewrite the problem to say X plus seven over X plus seven times X minus six so that we can see that these X plus sevens very nicely vertically align and anything divided by itself is one. So what we can do is take X plus seven plus X plus seven and divide it out. And there's a big one right there when you divide it out. And so it's really a one left over, over X minus six. So we're gonna write that this function is equivalent to in reduced form one over X minus six. So this is the reduced form. Now, what we do is look at our step three that says after we've reduced the function, we can sort anything that reduced out produces a whole. Well, what we do is go back and pay attention to this X plus seven right here is what got reduced out and it caused a point of discontinuity of negative seven. So my negative seven point of discontinuity is a whole and then the remaining factor was the six that produces a vertical asymptote, which is not the question, but we'll stick with the negative seven here for a moment longer and figure out where that hole is. Because our answer of saying negative seven is where the hole is, is not good enough. We need the actual coordinate value to say negative seven comma a Y height. Now the Y height you're looking for here is F of the reduced negative seven. When I say F reduced, I mean not this F of seven. If you plugged in negative seven here, you should get a result that is undefined you should not be able to plug it into the original function. You have to go plug it into this reduced version down here to see where the function was headed, even though it's undefined technically when X equals negative seven. It's headed toward one over negative seven minus six, which should produce one over negative 13 as a Y height. So the coordinate value, the answer to where the hole is, is negative seven comma negative one 13th. And it doesn't matter if you put the negative sign up with the one or down by the 13. Either way works. The final answer to this problem is this is where the hole is. Negative seven comma negative one thirteenth.